would just like to point out that me, along with pretty much the entire Caramel fandom for Supergirl, got fucked over last night. So, Jason, you better not pull any of the shit that the Supergirl writers pulled last night. Like, don't build, please, I'm begging you, Jason, don't build up Bullark and then not give it to us. Don't be the Supergirl writers. You are better than that. You have given us such beautiful Bullark scenes, and I know you got some even more beautiful Bullark scenes in store for us. I know you're going to make them canon, and you're going to make it beautiful. So please, don't pull any of the crap that happened last night. Thank you. Very much. I did everything I could. It wasn't enough. Oh. Damn. If we can just get to Shallow Valley, things will be better. I promise. Better for who? Funny. It's the same thing we said about getting back down to the ground. <sighs> then we found you. Oh, shit. No, Octavius is like, bitch, you did not just say that to my face. Well, he did. Your sister officially scares me. Same. Oh my god. What? You said no one else was bitten. Where is it? That's fucking disgusting. Ew! That's fucking gross! They're doing that? Ew! Oh, I thought that one was gonna do the same thing. What? The cold was slowing them down. Clark, if Octavia can deliver these worms in a defector. Ew! Oh god, don't do it! Don't come out of his mouth! And he's alive? Oh, that's disgusting. Thousands of refugees being packed in aircraft carriers. I remember seeing soldiers pushing helicopters overboard just to make more room, and the O's was there. She was the one giving the orders. The machines were expendable, but the people weren't. But up in space, when we reported that the miners were getting sick, when they just saw it differently. Order 11 came down. Bring home the hithalodium, leave the prisoners. Like they were garbage. Captain Stevens agreed, and I did it. You deactivated the shock collars. Oh. So you see, the O's is not as bad as you think, and I'm not as good as you hoped. Aww. Are you sick? Abby said you wouldn't let her examine you. I'm not sick. Just, you know, just saying. Maybe she's lying. You can trust her to keep it quiet. Trust her? She's a drug addict. <laughs> what if she is sick? Too soon. Go get the next defector. Okay, for real though, what if Dioza really is sick? And she's not telling anyone. Oh, Maddie, you got this. Oh. Ethan. Oh my god, Ethan, that's the kid! Jaha's kid, the one he was taking care of. I was wondering what happened to him. Our friends are there. People we love. Acceptable losses. <gasps> Raven's there! Project on the worms. Come on, big brother. Come. 
how many innocent lives have you sacrificed? Or you, one Ada. Okay. But this is no different. This was supposed to be Jasper's suicide note. Oh. And after we pulled him out of the City of Light, he was going to put a gun in his mouth and pull the trigger. Monty, oh. now is the perfect time. Monty, I know you're an optimist. You think better days are ahead. But that's not true. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. There's only the tunnel. Another enemy to fight. Another war. I've come to the conclusion that we're the problem. Human beings, all of us. The cycle can't be broken. As long as we're here. That's why I won't be here. Oh, Monty. That's why... Jasper was smarter than all of us. It doesn't matter what we do. Coming back to the ground, opening the bunker, all we've done is make things worse. If a war is the only way to have the last survivable land on Earth, then maybe we don't deserve it. Damn. I feel so bad for him. I've been here a day, and already I know there's a traitor in your camp. Oh, shit. Your pilot. Oh, Shaw's conscience can get in the way of his duties. But having a soft side hardly makes him a traitor. About disobeying orders, or giving comfort to the enemy. When he told you Raven locked you out of the missile system, he was lying. He did it himself. And I can prove it. <clears throat> First, I have to access. See, I knew Echo wasn't really going to betray Raven. Logs. It's a trick. Oh, the hard drive. See, right here. The first layer tells you the system was shut down manually. But it doesn't say who did it. How do I know it wasn't you? Getting there. Wait, Bug. As soon as we tell her, she marches to war and unleashes those worms. That's why we gotta get there first. We take the rover, we get our people out. Then we worry about stopping the war. Okay? Good. You have Monty and Harper, you get Maddie, and you leave tonight. Something like that. So she is sick. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna kill him? This is the calm before oh, the I don't storm. think so. They're just gonna leave him in there. This is the sea between us. Aww. Maddie, we're about to fight a war on your land. For your land. TV, yeah. What do you say? Maddie, come on, crew. <sighs> oh, Maddie, no. All right, then. We march as soon as the eye's down. I need to borrow her for a strategy session. Borrow her? You don't mind, do you, Clark? She kind of does. Nope. She's so not okay with it. Hello, Clark. It's been too long. What the hell do you want? What would it take for you to share the valley? Oh. Share it? Well, let me see. Short of an unconditional surrender. Nothing. Octavia will never surrender. True. That's why we're gonna take her out. What? Oh my god! That's where the trading post will be. They're gonna kill her? Baked ideas. Until you recognize that we're all just people. All this will ever be is a battlefield. Oh, I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew they were gonna end up trying try to kill Octavia. Holy shit. I knew it. I knew 
sooner or later in this season they were going to go against Octavia. And I've been saying for a long time now that they're not only they're going to go against her, but I think, I, I'm telling you guys right now, there's going to be this huge climactic fight, most likely between Octavia and Bellamy, brother and sister, to the point where he's going to be forced to kill her. And he's going to have to live with that. He's going to have to live with all that pain, the, the, the trauma of him to force himself to kill her. I mean, I could be totally wrong and they don't go that route, but the ending pretty much proves they might. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen because I read the synopsis for episode 8. It said something about Clark and Maddie and Bellamy being faced with an impossible decision. What if the impossible decision is when he has to choose to kill Octavia? That's the impossible decision. Oh my god. What if my prediction actually does come true? That we are going to get a huge fight between Bellamy and Octavia and he's going to be forced to kill her. I mean, I don't want Octavia to die, but... It's just, at this point, it almost seems inevitable. Like, it's just meant to happen. Well, that was The 100, Season 5, Episode 7. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.